We're delighted to announce that we've received a Welcome Discovery Research Platform Award. This is a £9 million investment over seven years to build the Welcome Platform for Medical Humanities. This platform is about recognising and centering the experiences of people with chronic and complex conditions in the production of health research. We're really excited that this platform will host six new methods labs capable of posing new questions about topics ranging from measurement to effective experience, from moving bodies to visual and material methodologies for medical humanities researchers. The point of the labs is about hothousing innovation. It's about bringing different disciplinary perspectives together with lived experience and together with the knowledge that comes from the clinical and voluntary sectors. The platform is targeted at the barriers to progress in medical humanities research. It's going to do that via large-scale collaborations with community, creative, health and voluntary sector organisations and via partnerships with institutions around the world, including universities in the US, Sweden, the Netherlands, South Africa and China. There are three main sites that we're going to work across. St Anthony's Health Centre, which is a GP practice in one of the most socio-economically deprived areas of the UK. The Recovery College Collective, which is a peer-led mental health education and support service based in Newcastle and the Edinburgh International Book Festival. What's innovative about working with these sites is we're going to be situating the research process there from the beginning. We're going to be starting with research questions that are based on consultation with the people who use these sites, with the students of Rococo, with the patients of St Anthony's, with the festival goers at the Edinburgh International Book Festival. We're inviting people into the research process to generate the next important questions for mental health and health inequalities. Lived experience is intrinsic to this platform. Uh, too often inclusion is seen as uh, something bestowed upon various communities, however it's, uh, it is actually a right for people to be included in the creation of knowledge. This is really exciting for us because the people that we work with, they're not subjects of research, you know, they're overlooked time and time again and there's so much of a health bias when it comes to mental health, when we know that the issues are social and the intergenerational, you know, some people haven't had opportunities for, for, for generations, their parents didn't have, their grandparents didn't have opportunities, so this is like, this is a new world for us, some of our students are, are you know, are, are going to take an active part in research in a way that hasn't happened before. We're really interested in storytelling. We're interested in the kinds of ways that experience comes to be articulated, understood, evidenced and mobilised across different health spaces.